You might wonder what business people can learn from the tale of David and Goliath. Um, it has some absolutely brilliant lessons that uh, you can apply in your business and uh, help power you to growth. So, uh, the first uh, part of the David and Goliath story is it has been massively um, misleadingly told. Um, it's not so much it was brave David venturing out onto the Goliath uh, to fight on the battlefield, even if he was the only person who would step forward. Um, Goliath was a dead man walking as soon as he put on armour and, and stepped forward onto the battlefield. David knew that he was going to kill him with that stone, which would uh, fly at over 100 miles an hour um, through the air, um, hurtling towards uh, the forehead of Goliath. Um, he was skilled with those stones, um, shooting um, birds out of the sky. He was sure as hell going to um, um, hit a giant right on the forehead several hundred metres out. So um, that's the first mistelling. I guess from lessons in business, uh, first, it, everyone assumes that David is going to take on Goliath on their own terms. That is as dumb as dumb can be. Um, if a new sandwich or um, food line or clothing line comes out, um, giants like Tesco uh, are going to figure that out, uh, get it into the market and scoop up. Um, that's really dumb to take on Goliath on Goliath's terms. What you should be doing is using your advantages, which are primarily speed and agility to outpace Goliath hit the stone right on their forehead and win the battle.